Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a video that I think started out as a tag video, and it kind of transformed a bit. I'm basically going to be showing you products that I bought specifically to do videos on here in my channel, but that I just never made. <laughs> I saw Victoria, my friend known here on YouTube as Rare Beauty Envy, do a video where I think she was inspired by a tag video, but she kind of changed it into her own thing. And she basically had a video called Five Palettes that I bought to test out for YouTube and then never did. Um, so I'll have that video linked up in the cards and down below if you want to watch it. And I was just really inspired by that to talk about not just palettes, but just products in general. Because ever since I started putting more work into my YouTube channel, basically most of 2018 to now 2019, I have gotten, or I used to have, like, a pretty bad habit of, like, buying products with the idea, like, oh, I, I gotta review this on my channel, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Oh my god, I gotta sneeze, I'm sorry, guys. I sneezed, like, all day yesterday, I have no idea. It feels like allergies, but... Why am I getting allergies now? It's not allergies. So I used to have that kind of a bad habit and eventually I got to the point where I had basically a decent amount of products where if I wasn't planning to do a video on them, I most likely wouldn't have bought them. So that's what this video is. It can probably be a part one <laughs> since I th I'm pretty sure I've got more products in this but I picked like five or six products we're going to talk about today that I bought specifically for YouTube videos that I haven't made. My nose has been running and my eye is watering so if we could just like ignore that <laughs> I'd appreciate it. So the first product is this palette from Ace Beauté. This is the Oceanic palette and this is my first palette from this brand. This brand was actually a part of the nine brands I want to try in 2019, so that's the main reason I bought it. But the secondary reason was that I planned to do a whole video on this. <laughs> Just haven't gotten around to that. On top of that, videos, like full reviews on palettes, get like the lowest amount of views on my channel. So not really motivated to do that. This did give me the idea to start doing them on my Instagram, so I do have plans to do more palette reviews on my Instagram. But as for actual YouTube videos where they take like days to film and edit and then get half the amount of views that I normally get, unfortunately no. I have no idea how to do like IGTV videos or maybe I could do like a short video to throw up on Instagram. I'm thinking about it. But a full dedicated video to this? I'm not there yet. And on top of that, I've only used this thing twice and I was waiting for this to come back in stock for a while. I can't give you my full thoughts on it because I haven't fully tested it out yet, but yeah, I plan to do a full video and that kind of just never happened. Next, I have another palette. This is more of a like eye and face palette from Pixie and this is the Hello LA Angel palette. Now, Pixie is a, an iffy brand for me because they're so expensive like they're in target and they're in drugstores but this palette i think was over 20 dollars, and it's eyeshadows and then like a blush a bronzer and a contour pricey for me. To be honest, I think I've only used this once. I was trying to tr test out some other Pixie products to do a video review on the brand, but whenever I go to the store to like pick up products, I, I look at them and I look at the prices and I'm like, why? Why? The price of their eyeliner is the price of a mid-range eyeliner at Sephora. It's like $24 for an eyeliner. So like, I can't. Yeah. I can't. And honestly, the majority of the reviews that I've seen on YouTube are from people who get these products in PR. I don't really think I've seen a full video of someone who's bought themselves all the products from Pixie and then done a review on them. So for that alone, I think I'm going to do a video eventually. But like, I would never do a haul because it's so expensive. I, I get sticker shock every time I go into Target and look at, at this brand. It's kind of insane. But I do have this palette. I did want to get one more like eyeshadow palette and maybe a couple more products. Like I said, the, the eyeliner was shocking. I'm not going to spend $24 on an eyeliner when I can get, you know, something from Sephora for that price. But eventually I do want to do a video, but I bought this and <laughs> still stick a shock and it just kind of went to the back of my drawer because I'm like, I don't have enough products to do a full video on Pixie yet. 
But you know what? Let me know your thoughts below. How do you feel about Pixie? Do you like Pixie products? Are there any you would recommend? Uh, do you know of any coupons or sales that they do? Because I only see like the 20% family sale on their website. And like I said, I'm, I'm not to the point where I want to do a full haul because I'd be like 50 to, I mean, at least $60 to maybe 100 to do a haul from their website, which is ridiculous when it's supposed to be a quote unquote drugstore brand. Next, we have an actual drugstore brand. And these are two palettes that I bought mainly because I was interested and curious, but also because I was going to do a video that never materialized. These are palettes from Essence. So I have the Spice Up Your Life palette, which is like this very fall neutral down here, a bit more colorful up here palette. And then I have the Crystal Iced palette, which is very colorful. It's gorgeous, especially this part up here. So I picked these up, I think when I was traveling and I just haven't been able to really test them out yet. I was really hoping to do like either a palette roulette or a first impression or some kind of video with these. It just never happened. And again, videos with palettes for me really don't perform well. So I'm not really motivated to... Like if I have a list of videos that I'm working on and like this is on the list, odds are when other things pop up, this gets pushed further, further, further down. So, I mean, they're decent palettes so far. I haven't fully tested them out, so I can't give you my thoughts on them yet. But... I mean, they're cute. I've heard from other people that they really enjoy these palettes, which is part of the reason why I really picked up the Crystal Iced palette. A friend of mine mentioned that she really loved the palette and that the formula was really good, so I had to pick it up. And these are actually affordable drugstore ones, so it wasn't really that much of an issue to pick these up from like Ulta. All right, next I have a foundation, something a bit different. This is from L'Oreal, and this is the Infallible 24 hour breathable foundation. I picked this up specifically to do a video on it because I was so interested in it and I saw a bunch of videos on it. This is such a bad foundation for me. <laughs> I tested this out and I did several full day wear tests and it looked garbage on my skin to the point where like I didn't want to wear it anymore and I didn't want to put it on for the full day wear test that I would have to do for the video. Yeah, so I had this on my list of videos to do. I was even gonna label it a foundation fail and like prove to you how bad of a foundation it was for me, but like I didn't, I didn't wanna put myself through that. Especially if I was gonna have to like wear this to work. Like I don't wanna look like garbage when I go to work. And if I stayed home and worked from home, it wouldn't be like a true wear test. So the moral of the story is this foundation works terrible for me and I didn't wanna have to wear it again for a video. Basically at this point, I'm only holding on to it because I think I'm gonna do a foundation roundup video and then I'll mention how much I hate this foundation and why and then I'll declutter it because it just it doesn't work at all. That being said I did do a while ago like a mixing all my least favorite foundations together video which is actually kind of fun. If you're interested I'll throw that up in the cards if you want to watch. All right so the last products I have for this are two products from Makeup Geek. Now Makeup Geek's been going through a bit of a transformation. They've been like discontinuing some products because they're getting ready to revamp the brand and come out with some new stuff. So right now it's kind of a lull in the Makeup Geek. Geek. <laughs> Uh, it's a bit of a lull right now for Makeup Geek. There isn't anything really new or exciting coming out, but I did want to do a video on Makeup Geek because when I first started watching YouTube, like in 2015, like Makeup Geek was the be all end all. Everyone had their singles. Everyone was like excited and shocked when they came out with new products and they, they were the shit essentially. It was like Mac and Makeup Geek. So I really wanted to try their products out. I still haven't tried out their eyeshadows. I do see that they're carried at Target now, which is where I picked up these two products, but they only had quads at Target and they were a bit pricey. But while I was there, I did pick up a highlighter and a bronzer. So I have the highlighter in Nightlight, which is this highlighter right here. And then I have the Medium Skin Bronzer in Tawny. So I have tested both of these out. The bronzer, I picked up a couple of bronzers. This is the one that works best for my skin tone. The highlighter is like just okay. Like it's nothing like super special, unfortunately. But I did want both of these products as I did eventually want to do a full video talking about Makeup Geek. But in order to do that, I really wanted to have eyeshadows and I still haven't picked up any Makeup Geek eyeshadows yet. They did recently come out with something called like the fall bundle that I was kind of interested in but it just it wasn't really quite there. I think what I'm gonna have to do is make my own palette. I think they had the singles available online still. I'm probably gonna have to make my own little nine pan palette out of Makeup Geek shadows, get that, and then do the video then. The only reason I'm holding back is because like I mentioned I think they are coming out with like this huge revamp with new products coming out 
some time. Um, and Marlena has been involved in a lot of things recently. A lot of videos have come out. She's been kind of involved in some drama on the outsides, giving her own perspective in, especially when it comes to like Jaclyn Hill. So I'm kind of like baiting my time. I'm just like sitting on the sidelines, keeping an eye on things, and I'm waiting. So I'm not going to declutter these two because I still think they're decent products, but I just haven't found the opportunity to do a video on them yet. That being said, if you have any like particular favorites from Makeup Geek that are still available on their website, please let me know down below because I still eventually do want to do a video, but I've had these for like months now and I still have it. All right guys so that was about seven products that I bought specifically for YouTube videos that I never made. Let me know down below if you like this video idea because I could definitely do a volume two. <laughs> Just I'm looking at my collection right now I can definitely see a few products. So if you liked it let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you did and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.